Neoliberalism is a way of defining human beings by the market. And while it began as a sincere philosophy, it very quickly became a self-serving racket, uh, which effectively exempted billionaires and large corporations from the constraints of democracy, from paying their taxes, from not polluting, from having to pay fair wages, uh, from not exploiting their workers. One of the things that neoliberalism wants to get out of the way is democracy. In some respects, it's been absolutely overt about that. Frederick Hayek, in the Constitution of Liberty, saw democracy as an impediment to the freedom of the very rich. When he visited Chile under Pinochet, um, he said he would rather live in an economically liberal dictatorship than in a democracy without economic liberalism. Neoliberalism has provided the ideological framework that justifies the sweeping away of the power of people and its replacement with the power of money and the power of corporations, which is an organised form that money takes. Um, and it's been extremely successful in, in, in this respect, um, leading to the mass deregulation of those corporations, um, including the deregulation of mergers and acquisitions, allowing them to form a new wave of monopolies, banks too big to fail, corporations too big to fail, privatised public services too big to fail, all of which end up getting bailed out by the state, uh, because um, they simply can't function in the real world because they are not sufficiently subject to the constraints that people would, would, would wish to impose on them and they um, tend necessarily towards crisis uh, without that state intervention. So there's a profound irony here in that neoliberalism was supposed to get the state out of the way but it requires intense state involvement in order to function.